And we got S Code Knights April Fool's Day episode. What if support for Umber Horrors? Now, originally, it was question marks, but I think the thumbnail was originally Vector, so it's like, oh, I wonder what it could possibly be. Although, to be fair, it could have been a swerve and meant like heraldic beasts or something. With it being April Fool's Day, you never know for sure. But anyway, yeah, we got Umbral Horrors here, unless this is a fake title and it's something else entirely. I don't know. But we'll find out what it is as soon as we hit play, so let's get right into it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and before you ask, no, this isn't an April Fool's joke. Okay. So sorry, <laughs> Melvin, Dartboard, and Bakugan, you all Bakugan. don't get support. But I do. <laughs> Look at your face. It looks like a car ran over it. Anyway, it Umbral Horror. I thought it was April Fool's This was a deck just, of dark game monsters Fool's used day. by the best character, and they were in focused a, on, so? uh... Sure. Uh... XC summoning? Yeah, they didn't really have a uh, I overall guess. theme. I mean, uh... They're based on ghouls, ghosts, and... Whatever this is supposed to be. Heck, it's it, hardly even considered an archetype. They're, they're I mean, the only other monsters it has are horrors, four main deck monsters, one extra deck monster, technically, yes, and a trap card that spawns tokens. In an Xyz archetype. Yeah, right. Well, when you put it like that, that probably wasn't a very smart idea, was it? <laughs> Thank you, no. Trampy. And to do our Lord and Savior justice, we're gonna revamp this whole thing and make it a proper deck. From square Hence one. why this is more of a what if archetype rather than a what if support video. Fair enough. Though this Reasonable. isn't an easy task. A common problem Yu Gi Oh's Exil had was that its characters were more famous for their boss monsters yes, rather absolutely. than the whole deck that they absolutely. used. Absolutely. I have hands! Absolutely. Quentin's deck, frickin' atrocious. Just a bunch of level 9s. There's a reason in Duel Links they gave him Cosmos. Because at least that's an actual frickin' archetype. Doesn't work with Dyson Sphere, really, but it's an actual archetype. Now, granted, some of the archetypes were good, like you got Battling Boxers, of course. Frickin', um... What else we got? I guess Onomatopoeia accounts, the sharks, the photons, a bunch of, like, you know, the obvious ones. There were archetypes that were generally good in there, but a good, but a good chunk of them were also like, what the fuck are you playing? I like Mizar, I like 107s, generally. I don't like Mizar's deck, because it's just a bunch of fucking level 8 dragon, although Mythic Tree and Mythic Wild Dragon are fine. It just. Anyway, yeah, the point is, I agree. So most of their main decks were either summon your boss monster as fast as humanly possible, or keep it alive. So most of their main deck didn't really have a solid strategy outside of that. So how are we going to fix this? Star Seraphs deserve well, better. Well, for starters, all the main deck monsters have zero attack, since that appears to be a common trend with, well, some of them. Generally, that one has Another is that they'll have effects that trigger when sent to the graveyard. But, more importantly, they'll adopt their user's favorite strategy. And I don't just mean in Yu-Gi-Oh!, and that is, pretend to be a charity that makes their life a living nightmare. Yep. We're talking giving your opponent free stuff to use against them, punishing them for using your own stuff, and flat out just laughing as your opponent rips themselves to pieces. This is much more fun. And of course, some of the cards will be references to Vector himself. Of course. Along with possessing a bit of synergy for his ace number monsters. This was a really fun one to make, so I, I hope you so. sit there laughing at how crazy these cards are. With that said, I'm S Code Knight, and this is the new we'll Umbral Horror Archetype. Vector is the, one of the best characters in Zex, so it's just a real shame that he loses like 99% of his duels. <laughs> but then again, so does Bakor, and people still have him as like their favorite character in the original series, which is good, so yeah. But anyway, let's focus on the cards. Umbral Horror Siren, level 4 Dark. I imagine they're all gonna be Darks. Fiend effect monster with no attack but 1800 defense. If you control a dark monster with no attack or an umbral horror monster, you can just summon this card from your hand. If this card is sent to your graveyard, draw one card. You only use each effect of umbral horror siren once per turn. Okay, so the guy has zero attack point monster in general, like, I don't know, effect veiler, we'll just say. You can special summon this guy, or of course, if the umbral horror is in there. The thing is, it doesn't lock you to Z summon, so if you do have effect veiler, you can now synchro summon with it. And because of the graveyard in general, just draw a card, so that means, like, if it's Synchro, Xyz, anything like that, on the link. But hey, it's a free draw, so it's automatically gotta be good there, so we're off to a strong start. Umbra Horror Dogman, level 4, dark. Uh, they're all gonna be fiends. 
zero attack, fifteen hundred defense. If this card is summoned and add, if this card is summoned and add one Umber Horror card from your deck to your hand, I guess it just meant you can add like a Stratos. It just if it's summoned in general, so it doesn't specify like Stratos. If this card is summoned to your opponent's field, have them send all monsters they control with zero attack to the graveyard, and all of a sudden they'll f all two reptilian players just freaking shove this thing into their decks. I imagine there's gonna be some cards going forward that's gonna reduce their own attack to zero or something like that just because, well, it's not gonna matter <laughs> if they don't have a monster. Just be like, oh no, it's an all effect to the great well, ice blossom to the grave. So that's four shines for the come, but hey, just on summon stretch an umbra horror card. Octo good start with that one too. Umbra horror stick man. They're up level four dark. Nope. I'm just gonna stop saying no attack. I'm just really defense unless they have attack. Uh, you can tribute one monster with zero attack on the field. Special summon this card from your hand. Then special summon one umbra horror monster from your graveyard. If this card is special summoned, you can send one card on which either side of the field it is on the graveyard you can to the graveyard you can only use each effective umber horror stickman once per turn i like to imagine it's henry stickman but he's like dark i guess so i guess this is useful if you already like used up the search effect of the previous monster for example you know being more used to it you can just special summon this card and then summon the monster you just tributed right back to the field and then you know exceed someone with it i presume Usually has has effect only express summon, so that means you. It is possible to do it with this thing itself, you know. Like you summon this, if you, like if you, this thing's already in the graveyard, you can just summon another copy of it and then summon it and then send another card, set a card from either side of the field of the graveyard. It's a nice effect. I gotta get that one. That one's just friggin' like I gave you a monster and now I'll take it away. Car Cabra, level 2 dark. Yeah, some of them were level 2 just so we could go into frickin' 96. I think it was 96, that was dark, miss. Uh, no attacker defense. This card is always treated as a level 4 monster, then why did you make it level 2? Oh no, no, it can be treated as a level 4 monster. You can choose for it to not to be. Never mind, I take back my statement. For the XE, you can use this thing as a level 4 monster. For the XE, summon a number horror or number monster between 101 and 107. So this can go between any level and any one play them at, which is handy. Although you're not going to summon 107 with this thing to make it a level 4. I mean, any of the other ones you can, but not <laughs> not 107. If this card is normal summon, you can act special one number horror monster from your hand or graveyard. Mm, so on normal summon, you can revive. Handy. If this card is sent to the graveyard, reduce the attack of one monster the opponent controls to zero. Okay, so that's what I meant, and it each effect on the last return. Uh, that's what I worked out earlier with the whole, if you can, if your opponent has a monster, you can send on the opponent's monster with zero attack to the graveyard. Effect thingy, my fighter. Huh. Good, if there is ways to reduce their stats to zero and not make that effect completely worthless. Which is good to see, and the fact that it can change its little list to fit a number or a humber, sorry, umber horror monster is handy. And you know, it's a monster born, so this thing does everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> hey, good card. Umber horror guide, four dark. No attacks, 1400 defense. If your opponent control, if yeah, sorry. If your opponent's monster conduct an attack while you control an umber horror monster. You can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard to your opponent's side of the field in face up the defense position. End the battle phase by banishing this card when it leaves the field. Okay, so that's a, so you're giving your monster a free body, but you're also going to gain the attack at any of the battle phase, and you can't keep doing it because it's going to ban itself, which is very risky. Although he does have the thing that reduces the sense of opponent's monsters with no attack to the graveyard anyway. Although that's the thing that's going to be banished regardless, so it doesn't really matter. A monster that uses a monster that uses this card as material gains the following effect depending on which side of the field it's on. Your side. This card gains 1,000 attack points. The opponent's side. Banish all monsters you control. Oh my god. So wait, you're giving this thing to your opponent after they attack and then you're like, bye. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> there reminds me of the freaking anime version of Arma Tire where freaking Johan Ubel just gives it to freaking. And, um. The Fog King guy, who's using Zodiac, not Atticus, uh, someone else, 
Adrian Gecko and just be like, okay, I'm gonna give this monster to you. Now say goodbye to your field. <laughs> it's like, bro. <laughs> you would never, well, yeah, you would barely, rarely ever summon to your own side of the field cause, just because banishing all your opponent's monsters is just better in the end. It's nuts. Uh, you attacked me, and therefore you must die. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Side note, when I say uses a monster as material, I mean, like, used as fusion, material. ritual, oh, all, all the summoning methods. Okay, now This not only succeed. saves space on card text, but it prevents the card from becoming outdated whenever a new summoning method is introduced. Smart. Well, if. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Now to the extra deck. Umber Horror Fool, rank 2 dark. Hello! Oh! <laughs> Good thing I could just... <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, no attack, 2300 defense. It takes two level 2 dark monsters. Your opponent must play this card with... Your opponent must play with their hand revealed. Respect play. You can detach one material from this card, add one Umber Horror card or rank up magic card from your deck to your hand. Then give your opponent one card in your hand. I hear you. You can have exchange. <laughs> if this card is sent from your field, from the field to the graveyard, banish one random card from your opponent's extra deck. Jeez. You can only use one full effect per turn. Okay, so adding the Umbral Horror or the Rank Up Magic thing is pretty handy. I just don't like giving my opponent the card. I mean, they might just choose not to use or have it be discard fodder. But I guess it's better than just like search a card, discard a card, or shuffle it back in the deck. It is something different, I guess, you know? And if it's into the graveyard, you can banish a red card for your poison extra deck, which is just like, pray to God you don't hit the elder entity in your test. Because <laughs> I have faced those fucking dogmatic medica players. It's like, okay, what's your extra deck? Oh, you know, monsters that have effects when they're sent to the graveyard for the extra deck, it's like, shit. <laughs> So yeah, something a little bit more different and unique. Nice. And let me put this hand reveal. It's just okay. Number four, Ray Joker. Number four, a rank four, Ray. I see what you got there. Twenty-four hundred attack, twenty six hundred defense. This monster has stats, boys. It looks out, boys and girls. Uh, takes two plus level four dark monsters. You take no damage in battles involving a dark fiend monster you control, which this thing is. So it counts itself. During the other player's turn, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card, then you can special summon one Umber Horror monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard to your side of the field and face up attack position, or to your opponent's side of the field and face up defense position. You can only use each effect once per turn. Okay, we, the only reason you would summon to the opponent's field is just so they could banish your entire field again, which is something, I guess, which is, like, funny, but it's also, like, <laughs> I'm gonna attack your freaking five-headed dragon. Why? So I can give you a monster. Why? So I can bash your entire board and say fuck you to your five-headed dragon. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, or you can just load up another mod that can just freaking like do a direct attack. I mean, th these things have no attack points, but if we're just gonna freaking yeah. <laughs> So it's sort of a good attack board, is, I guess, is a balancing it because it has no attack points anyway. So if you summon it, it from the deck as much as you want, it's got no stats. I guess that's fair enough. I mean, there's something that's going to get their effects off, but you know, it's fair enough. I can get it. But yeah, I just find it to be like, <laughs> yeah. Chaos Exceeds Umber Horror Crazy Joker at rank 5. <clears throat> it is a Phoenix Fuse Effect monster with 3200 attack and 2600 defense. It got big. It takes 5 level 6 dark monsters. Are you out of your mind? Also, I think that's wrong, unless I'm wrong. Alright, sorry about that cut, IRL. But yeah, actually, this thing is a level 6 monster, so you can make it. With, technically, you can make it with 5 level 6 dark monsters. You're not going to, but you are allowed to, you know? It's possible. I, th I thought it was a level 5, I guess I'm just slow, you know? Yeah, the black on black text. But anyway, yeah, this is a uh, heavy cost, but that's how, we see, that's how the chaos exceeds are. Just like, yeah, we're gonna make sure you don't summon this thing legitimately. <laughs> anyway, let's read the card. Uh, must first be Xyz summoned. That's fair. Uh, once per turn, if your opponent activates a monster effect, you can detach one material from this card. Negate the activation if you do destroy it. Simple and straightforward, easy to understand. If this card is used as material for the, the summon of an opponent's monster, or 
or is on your opponent's side of the field, shovel all cards your opponent controls back into the deck. Um, I think it just means your opponent as in your point of view, from your point of view, the you will play, because uh, in the wording, it's... If it's on the opponent's side of the field, then you become the opponent. It's one of those confusing ruling things where it's like, you have to be very specific with your wording at one misstep and it's like a completely different ball field. But I get what Esco is trying to say, where it's like, okay, you give it to your opponents, they now have no field. <laughs> Everything's back to the deck. Damn it, god damn it! Alright, shuffle all cards your opponent controls back in the deck. They banish from the top of your opponent's deck up to the number of cards shuffled by this effect. Jeez, if your opponent had to stay a full 11 cards, we'll just say. Oh, wait, this is uh, 10 to the main. So 12 cards you can actually have because of the field of spell zone and the extra monster zone. Uh, they're going to be really on top of that, which is like freaking redonkulous. I mean, you're banishing them, and it's probably not banished face down, doesn't say that, but. It's still ridiculous how much that freaking does. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so mean. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know how you, this thing would be used as material for anything unless like Link Summon, I guess, on the top of my head. Or maybe you can cast it even further, I guess. It's just like, geez. geez. Here you go, buddy. What's this? Your death. <laughs> also, give me my monster back. It's going to be shoveled back into my extra deck. Uh, yeah. Jeez Louise. Yeah, you can only control one face of cast it I'm a horror crazy joker. I would hope so. Nuts. Spells and traps. Okay, so you can't rank it up then, but I guess it just means the link we'll just go with, or any future summoning mechanics. If you should start with that day of the thing. Umbral Horror Kingdom Field Spell Card. If this card activate, add one Umbral Horror monster from your deck to your hand. Very simple and easy to understand. The effects of your zero attack dark monsters cannot be negated. Nice. Also, your opponent must pay 800 life points if the effect of a monster with zero attack is activated to their s on their set in the field, or in their hand, or grave. Oh my god, so not only are you giving them free monsters that will nuke their entire board, you're making them pay for it, you bastard! This is like in the uh, idea of like, ah, oh, frick, what's the name of the card? I think it's something with Dawn Thousand, it's just like, your opponent pays 2,000 life points after this card. It's like, what do you mean I pay the life? What the fuck are you talking about, you son of a gun? <laughs> the card effect might as well be burn your opponent for 2,000 damage. There's more after that, but it's like, that might as well be the card says. <laughs> it's so mean. Not only are you nuking their entire board, you're like, also pay me. <laughs> Oi. Like to nurse to the field or hand or graveyard. <laughs> so they try to ask Blossom 2, they're still paying for it. Some sort of graveyard effect with no attack, which probably exists, but you know, it's still that's ridiculous. <laughs> Your chain energy. If an Umbral Horror monster with zero attack you could control battles an opponent's monster, you could reduce that monster's attack to zero after damage calculation. Okay, so you're able to get to the opponent's monster and then make them nothing. Reptilians would love this freaking thing. Because that's partially their gimmick too, of producing its stats to zero. Like, you can see Reptilians kind of getting into this style. And you can only activate one Umbra Horror Kingdom per turn. This thing just looks like freaking super glue for the entire archetype. It's so mean, it would so be played at three just because of all the freaking stuff it does. Just ridiculous. <laughs> it's insane. Umbral Horror Enforcement's Continuous Spell. Umbral Horror Monsters you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effect. And if you control an Umbral Horror Kingdom, they also can't be destroyed by your opponent's card effect. Uh, okay, no, no, okay, one is targeted and the other one is destroyed. I'm, I'm just like, didn't you just say the same thing twice? No, my brain is mush. Uh, that's some very handy protection that's nice to have, so thank you for that. During the end phase, you can shuffle up to three Umbral Horror monsters in your graveyard, or banish this deck, uh, banish, back in, or your banishment, uh, back into your deck. Draw one card. You can control one face of Umbral Horror and force this per turn. That's a pretty handy thing as well, just at the end phase, you can get a reshuffle and draw a card. I think Prank Kids have something like that too. It, it's a really neat, handy effect. That Sanctuary in the Sky things do as well, I believe. Just shuffle back free and draw a card is just really nice. It's an extra good thing to have. Your own in archetype pot of average, so nice. And this thing is protection, which is handy, so nice. Nice card. Umbral Horror Horror Quick Play Spell. Reduce the attack of all monsters your opponent controls by 
and the number of zero tag monsters on their field or in their graveyard is time 500. <laughs> Here's a zero tag monster that makes your board. Also, it's still in your field on your turn. Uh, your monster's getting weaker. <laughs> or should you have a freaking effect mirror as possible in the graveyard? It's like, here you go, even less of that. It's like, you bastard. <laughs> it's just, um, it's uncalled for. <laughs> then send all zero tech monsters they control the graveyard. <laughs> This is freaking ridiculous. You're reducing those stats to zero and then being like, now get out of my face. <laughs> you're weak, you're worthless, get out. <laughs> oh, gee. Right. Umber Horn March, normal spell. Put <laughs> some one Dark Fiend monster from your hand or, or one Umber Horn monster from your hand or graveyard. You will use each of those effects like per turn. And, uh, once per turn. Alright, that's handy. A good special summon effect. It's nice to have, of course. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, it doesn't even lock it to Umber Horrors because it can be just a Dark Fiend type monster. I mean, like, yeah, the Umber Horror one has, it has to be an Umber Horror if it's coming from the graveyard, but other than that, it's like, it could be anything. Yeah. Anyway, uh, if an Umbral Horror monster would be destroyed by a battle card, but you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Okay, well that's handy. A little extra protection. That's nice. That's good. I like this card. It's handy. Draw sweet to the point. Break up magic. Umbral Chaos. Quick play spell. Oh, jeez. It's the freaking... Some mountain of card text like every rank of magic. Ugh. Let's get this over with. During the main phase, target one face up Umber Horror or number Xyz monsters you control. Special Reaction Deck 1 Umber Horror or number C or number or C Xyz is monster with the, of the same in type as that monster you control, but one or two ranks higher by using it as Xyz material. This special one is string as Xyz, summon attach Xyz material to this Xyz one monster. During the same phase, this card's in your opponent's hand, because you ex used it on that one exchange card sort of thing that gives your opponents a free card. While all monsters you control are exceeds monsters, inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent. If you do, immediately activate this card on your side of the field. From their hand, apply its effects as available. You go. <laughs> so you give. So you basically give them a card, and then you make an exceeds monster somehow. We'll just say, and then you're just like. Also, uh, I activate this card from your hand. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Oh, I mean, it has to be during the standby phase, so you have to like, wait until the end of the turn, but it's still just... You can just be like, I activate this from your hand. Also, you pay the thousand bird for it. Also, also... <laughs> and it has some good variety of being able to go into rank one or two. So, yeah. Sort of like, uh... What is it? Wake up the Astral Force in a way, so I guess this is an evil version of that. There's a wider variety too, so you can go to Umber Horror, Number Seeds, or Chaos Exceeds. I hate fucking Number Seeds, Seeds, I'm not a number. Uh, but, yeah. It's, it does a lot, but it has to, so very handy and very good. Rank up Magic? Not! Quick play spell. Have your opponent draw two cards and gain 1,000 life points. You can activate this card if it. You must activate this card if able, unless you reveal one Umber Horror Magic in your hand. Umber, umber Horror Monster Hand. You only activate one rank up magic. Not per turn. I imagine this is like a scene from the uh, anime where it's, I guess Victor was like bluffing that he had a rank up magic or something like that. <laughs> Why would you want to give your opponent three thousand, three uh, two cards and a thousand life? Or I guess it's sort of like how Upstart Goblin draw a card, then your opponent gains a thousand. It's this is sort of like that in reverse, except they draw two cards. So it's like, why would you want them to at to happen? And you have to activate this. Well, I wait. No, I, no, I'm seeing. I'm seeing. I'm seeing it. You have to give it to your opponent. It's that one card that gives it to your opponent. And so you just give this to them. It says they're not gonna have an upper horror monster. Most likely, they're gonna be forced to give you two cards. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I'll give you this Rick and card. Not. <laughs> I just mentioned the Rick and in the previous one. So it's like this is two good targets for it. Umber Horror Deception, Normal Trap. Oh, good grief, I just see a mountain of text and I get, ugh. At least, at least you're not making me do algebra, though. 
I saw the fucking meteor cannon thing. It, it saw that it was how much meth I was doing. It was like, nope, in the garbage. <laughs> Sometimes you just look at those guards and just like, no, I refuse. <laughs> if your opponent would activate the card, could say I wouldn't do it. I don't give a shit. But anyway, sorry, focus on this card. If your opponent would activate a card that would add a card to their hand, while you control a Umbral Whore or number 104 XE monster specifically, uh, you probably can't see 104 as well. Negate the activation if you do destroy it. Then add one rank up magic spell from your graveyard or deck to your opponent's hand. Here you go. Now you can activate it on my hand from my hand next turn. <laughs> So it gives you a good decay if you have an Umber Horror number 4104 of these monsters, which is nice. It's, especially if they're searching, it's just like it's an alternative to Ash Blossom. You can still play Ash, but this is a decent alternative. During the end phase, if your opponent did not activate the added card, send all spells to trash your Pokemon towards the graveyard. Also, the 200 damage you put for each said card. Also, heavy storm their board and then make them take burn. You bastard. We're already getting rid of all their monsters, now you gotta, really, uh, gotta get rid of their spells and traps too. I also burn them because fuck you. That could be a max of 1200 damage if you include field spells. Ugh. Umber Horror Scandal, Continuous Trap. If this card's activated, you can set one Umber Horror Kingdom from your deck or graveyard. Oh, that's handy, you can just set the uh, field spell right up. That's nice. The activated effects of your Umber Horror Monsters and the effects of Umber Horror Monsters your opponent controls cannot be negated. <sighs> so they can't stop them from nuking their board, you bet. I've been using the t I've been using the boards a lot, but just it holds true. I know if you say a word too much it loses all meaning, but still like you prick. <laughs> you absolute prick. Uh, uh just uh, also, if the Umber Horror monsters you control bows to punch monsters, gain life wins equal to half the attack of the opponent's monster, and then take the damage, I imagine. Sort of like a Nutrient Z in a way. During the end phase, if you do not control a face of Umber Horror Kingdom, destroy this card. You can only activate once per turn. So, so okay, it's going to set it straight from the deck and then give you a chance to activate. So if you're not activating on your opponent's turn, you're not going to have the field spell face up, unless it was already faced up, but that's... Well, no, it's not going to be because you're staying straight from the deck. But you can set, so you can choose not to, I guess. Eh. Eh, just... Wow. <laughs> you can't stop me. From that reason alone, I guess you play the card at least one, I guess. You don't need to play it, but... Send the field spell from your deck does make it a little better. Umber Horror Sabotage. Continuous Trap. Cannot be activated unless you control an Umber Horror Kingdom or an Umber Horror or an or a number 104 meh monster. If not, destroy this card. It's a lot of specifics, but it's also like very generic in that kind of way. Monster with no attack cannot be used as material except Umber Horror monsters you control. Okay, so you have to well for extra deck summons in general or ritual summons. So your opponent can't like make Underworld Goddess, I guess, with it. Oh no, it has to be Umber Horror Monsters, so they could. During your turn, if your opponent activates a monster effect on the field or special summons a monster, negate its effect. So if they try to special summon a monster or try to activate effect, no. You only have one face up Umber Horror Sabotage. If this set card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can add one Umber Horror Scandal from your deck to your, to your hand. Uh, you can set one an Umber Horror Scandal from your deck. It can be activated this turn. Uh, so that, wait a minute, Umber Horse, I guess it's going to be the next card or something like that. It's going to go back a bit to make sure we didn't go over it already. Yeah, it's the, it's the one we just saw. Okay, so it's going to sit the last one up against here, right back where you started, you prick. <laughs> Ugh. Good card. Umber Horse Gift? Kind of trap. Actually, I don't you control if, um, if it, um, I'm going to try that again. Activate only if you control an Umber Horror or number 104 monster. Target one monster on the field, and if you do, table its attack points to the end of the turn, but destroy it at the end phase. Yeah, but during the end phase, destroy it. However, if the target monster was not destroyed during the end phase, the controller takes damage with the original attack points, unless the targeted monster was Umber Horror or number 104. Yeah, once per turn. So, it's okay, it's a limiter removal, sort of, when you can target any monster, so you could just 
double your opponent's monsters like freaking Cyber and Dragon style and then make them take burn damage for it. <laughs> Dick. Also, you can use uh, the. Uh, <sighs> I'm sorry. Also, you can use the freaking thing on um, the zero attack monster, in which case anything times zero is still zero, so you're not taking any burn damage anyway, so that's why that's a thing, so. Funny. But fun, it's, it's, it's good to just have a good old fashioned liver removal. And with that said, that is another What If Archetype done. Good stuff. It was Make sure to let me know what you think of these fun. new cards and our Lord and Savior. IMS Code Knight. And remember, there are two ways of doing things the, the Great, Great Western, Western way, way and the. Or. The Ray Way! Oh. <laughs> He was the only voice actor in dub that gave a shit. <laughs> and was trying. He was having so much goddamn fun though. Uh, it's depressing to get show is over 10 years old. That doesn't sound right, but it's true. <laughs> okay, Vector did have wins though. I, I gotta correct that one because I'm gonna get that correct in the comments. He wouldn't probably already have it already, but still. And it was a freaking insane art set just to be like, I just like how you just keep giving your opponent monsters and then taking all their shit away immediately. Here goes a free thing. Also, yoink. <laughs> Bastard. Ay, ay, ay. Good art set would be very powerful. I don't know if it would break the meta, but it would still, but it would freaking make them go, wait, what? <laughs> It is freaking bonkers, so funny stuff at least. It's just it's, it may not be an April Fool's Day prey, but they sure are fooling with your opponents, so I guess it's in the spirit of it in a way. Uh, yeah, just red crown the April on the horse that they, they're not gonna miss it. They're not very good, and I don't think that's a hot take. Ay ay ay. Zexo had some interesting deck ideas, but they didn't do anything with it because they're too busy summoning Utopia 97,000 times. Uh, maybe, they'll get it for, maybe they'll get some more manga support or something, I don't know, in the um, Animation Chronicles or something like that. I don't know. Time will tell that tale. Wouldn't it be fun if we got Umbral Horror support? We're getting Perform Age support, so that'll be something interesting. Time will tell the tale. Until next time. Later. <laughs>